This is Dabu7, an update to the situation at the Hanford site. This is really important what's going on here. I know a lot of people have been distracted by the whole Comey show, but this seems to happen all too often when the mainstream media has people's attention over here and we have other events going on that they're just trying to keep really on the hush-hush. Now, the cat's out of the bag on this one, but what they're trying to say is that it's, once again, low levels. They're not giving any readings, any numbers, or anything. This is the same site that had a hole open up exposing underground radiated stuff that had been there for decades to open air. We caught them on radio. Radio went back and forth talking about a radiation release, gathering the numbers. They never released that. They've since thrown a tarp up over the region. This is the same place that has two tanks, outer shell tanks, that are leaking. One has been known. The other was discovered here recently when they sent a robot up into the area. It came back and it was contaminated. They're trying, they try to downplay that today at a demolition site. They're trying to take down one of these buildings. There has been detection of contamination. The air monitors went off. They scrambled people into in, inside of shelters. And since then, they've released some of these employees. But this is the thing. Now they're saying low levels of contamination have been found, not only in the demo zone, but also on the sidewalks near a station where the employees receive protective breathing equipment and near a vehicle access gate. This is widespread. They're trying to say they're putting a fixative adhesive uh, on these areas to prevent further spread of contamination. But I'm here to tell you guys, this stuff travels in the air and it by wind. It reminds me of what happened in New Mexico to WIP facility years ago when they tried to keep it hush-hush. And they actually shut down the air monitor systems later, brought them back up, then said, oh yeah, we had a release. Well, we're not responsible for shutting down the sites, though. They try as how they tried to play it. They're trying to keep this as low-key as possible. I'm here to tell you guys, anyone downwind from this site right now, you need to pay attention. Now check this out. Currently, this is the wind pattern around this site. Okay, and I'm going to play this in the motion right here throughout the day. This is where it's expected to go. Here in the next few hours, shifting a little bit more east, and we'll back out just a little bit. See, Kennewick, this is the region right down here. So all of this is going to get pushed through the site up this way. Some of it may peel back down into the northern parts of Idaho. The rest of it may push right on up towards Spokane. Now, this is interesting because the people that were contacting me from Washington over the last incident said that out of all their friends and family, the individuals that they know in Spokane have one thing in common. More than anyone that they know with anything else in common anywhere when it comes to an illness. And it's thyroid cancer. Hmm. Do you see this? This is exactly where it's heading right now. Any and all radiation, if it would have been released. So this is a heads up for Spokane. Any areas downwind from this site right now, as they're admitting, there's been a radiation release. No matter if they want to say it's low level or not, it still has been out in the air. The air monitors went off. But they're not telling anyone downwind, heads up or anything. So... I am. I'll continue to update. Make sure to follow me on Twitter because I'm constantly tweeting out updated information uh, to this and other stories. Also tune in Underground World News Live Friday night, 6 p.m. Eastern, Dabu 77. See you guys there. Much love.